Can we get the the go on the screen? Sleeper mode. On the screen. And they scroll all the way down. See the see the second icon on the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right there. Okay, is it recording? Okay, good. Good. Welcome back to the <laughs> Xavier's not in the shot. He isn't? No, go back to No, here. wait, Matthew, is it, is the camera on Xavier? No, it is. It is? Yeah. Okay. Well, Look at the webcam. Look at the webcam. Bro. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's fix this webcam real quick. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, Xavier's not even in the shot, bro. Ugh. Bro, just get closer to this dude. Right here. There you go. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Welcome back to the Loser Island podcast <laughs> with your host, Simon Clay, and, and no host, Elijah Ragunin. Mm -hmm. And Ben Johnson. Well, we got Ben back. Yeah, of course. Gotta have me back. <laughs> it was random the last second, but you know, I was like, why not? Why not get Ben? Everybody yeah. liked Ben last time. And uh, we got special guest, Xavier. How you doing? Xavier, how's your day? Fine. Fun fact. It's pretty good. Xavier and Elijah are cousins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they're not related. Just because they're Mexican doesn't mean they're related. But it's it does mean they are illegal. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you get it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But, oh, uh, no, Xavier's my close friend. He's from Pokemon too, just like um, me and Ben here. Yeah, we call him We call him in fourth hour. We call him the AirPods kid. Why is that? Because he always brings his AirPods to class, and I always see him, see him messing with the AirPods. You know what, Xavier? I actually bought something just to remind you of our special <laughs> bond. I bought these. Does everybody know what these are? These are AirPods. Xavier, do you have your AirPods? I don't. Well, yeah. I'll tell. You can you can see mine. Okay. Yeah, they're clean. Those are, those are neat. I know they're they're just they're literally exactly the same as yours. Nice. Yeah. So like when you um. I just always have the AirPods. So like when you watch porn, you come there. Oh, I was watching porn today. I no, had the AirPods. No, November. So fuck no, not November. It's a myth. No, not November is a normie meme. Yep. Retweet. I got taken. Christian channel. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we need we need to get closer to God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. Damn. Okay, no, but uh, Xavier. Um, she wears my notes. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, Xavier goes to my school, Okamis, but he's a senior. Yep. I think you're the second senior ever to come on the podcast. Older than all you guys. Yep. You're 17. Well, actually, you're the same age as Matthew. But you're technically older. Yeah. So. How you doing? Oh, yeah. By the way, Matthew, you can't see him, but he's editing. Cause my he filled in the cameraman. Provav. For Simon's lame-ass cameraman who didn't show up. What's didn't his name? Didn't show up. Provav. Bitch. Provav. Provav, bro. F*** you for not showing up. You That's lame. That's why you got fat. That's why you got fat. <laughs> Boom. But he, he's Indian, so like his no. Actually, for Bob, shout out to you. I know that some shit comes up, and sometimes people can't make it. I don't actually hate you. I don't even know who you are, bro. But I love you, and I hate you at the same time because you let my man you? Simon down. You, you let Xavier down. You let Matthew down. Matthew could have been. Matthew could have been re recording on the damn podcast right now, but Pravaz lame ass didn't show up. Okay, I think we should call him. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah sorry, Pravaz, love you. But anyway, yeah. 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 MPG channel. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> that was like a whole round for Bob. It was like really personal. Okay, anyway, back to Xavier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Xavier's got a little bit of a little story to me. Oh, no, no. Well, can right, I, can yeah. I control my podcast? Yeah, it's oh, little... sorry. I'm like fighting for you. For, for that. I only got three things down, but still. I okay. Really, yeah, I want to cover these things. Okay, so um, the little bird on the street is that you live in Saginaw. Yeah. Okay. What? I don't even remember mentioning that to you. Yeah, I, I, bought, I remember stuff. You remember stuff. That's Yeah, you're very attentive. Um, Yeah, I'm from Saginaw. I, I moved here and just And people before. that aren't from Michigan, Saginaw is like, is like how many hours are you from Lansing? It's it's like an hour and a half, but like the closest like city around that you can compare it to is probably like a Flint or Detroit. Yeah, near that area. Yeah. Because like, if you're from Michigan, there's like only three spots that you know of. No, four spots. Grand Rapids. Lansing, Flint, Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else you just don't know. Yeah. When did you um when did you move here? Did you move here last year? No, no, I've actually gone here like since like eighth grade year. Oh shit. Yeah. Eighth grade, eighth grade year? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Wow. Who was your who were your teachers in eighth grade? Uh -huh. No one even knows. Miss Kurgelka. Oh go. He's the only one I remember. Go. He's the only one that doesn't like Miss Kurgelka. Simon is the only one. I really? never had her. I, I went to her house. I thought you said you hated her. I never had her. Oh, never mind. 
<laughs> I've, I've actually been to Miss Krakowka's house. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, she was like, I was like telling her a story about like, or I don't know, like, I don't Did know. Did you what steal else. her underwear? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here's, so here's, okay, here's what happened. So I was like, I don't know, I was like telling her, I was like, oh, I just like mowed my grandpa's lawn or something. And then she's like, oh, do you want to mow my lawn? And I'm like, what do you mean? But she paid you like a hundred bucks. <laughs> Dude, she literally paid me like sixty bucks. Like, and she had a, she like her lawn wasn't that big, but like I just like she was like, oh poor Mexican boy. So she paid me sixty <laughs> bucks to mow like her like medium sized lawn. It wasn't even like a big lawn. Like it was like just like a like an okay sized lawn. But I, but I mowed her lawn. And was then, it was it a nice house? Yeah, she actually did have a nice house. I'm sure, but she lives by herself. Yeah, I didn't go inside her house, but she like like offered to like have me like eat and shit in her house. But I was like, oh, it's okay. I just divorce just... money from those eight marriages. Anyway, back she's to been our... married a ton of times. No, she That's hasn't. My point. Yeah, she has. For real? Yeah, she told us about it all the time. Uh, well, she's super hot, so yeah. So you live in Saginaw, right? Yeah. How is life in Saginaw? It's way different than Oklahoma. Really? Better it's... or worse? I will... Okay. I mean, I loved living in Saginaw, but like, f- like from like. An economic slash, like, just, like, any of what's going on, it was just way worse than like, here. It was, like, a bad area. Yeah. Like, it's... A, describe it. Like, how... Like, because Saginaw, is it, a, is it, like, a hood city, or is it, like, a farmish city? Well, it, it's a little bit of both, because there's, like, part, like, Bridgeport's, like, right connected. And I lived in Bridgeport um, for, like, the like majority of my life, but, like, everything was in Saginaw. Like, if you're going to go anywhere, like, because like, there was nothing in Bridgeport besides the school, and it's, like, basically the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, I had, like, cornfields by my house. I had a big yard, big backyard, big side yard. Um, but where did you grow up? In the hood? I mean, a little. Like, I didn't live, like, directly. Yeah, but it, it, it was just, like, it was there, you know? It'd be like living in, like, say, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put this into words. Like, it'd be like living in um, Okemos-ish, basically. And then, like, having, like, the hood of Lansing, like, right next to you. Or, like... Farmington Hills in Detroit. Like, you know, I'm not saying that it's like a nice but area. We, but you would never have to go through Lansing. Like, you, I had, like, anytime that I had to have to go anywhere, it would just be through Saginaw. Like, yeah. we, everything we did was through Saginaw. It, and it's just a lot of Mexican people, a lot of black people, and that's it. Okay, like, so you're not, how was your school then? Uh, my school? Um, so I was like, I. No, I switched. Wait, I switched schools a lot. What were you in school? Were you the popular? Were you the bully? Were Dude, I was. I was always just kind of like, like nerdy, quiet kid. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, why do you, what, what, why? well, because like I'm not really a confrontational person. Like, unless it's like, like a like a actual like formal debate. Like I'm not really like just like <laughs> trying to like. I don't like to like fight people, and I'm not like a super emotional when it comes to things. I just like to look at things like super analytically instead of like emotionally okay and then were you bullied in elementary school uh yes. no not really actually i really wasn't like about, i'm because yeah. i'm good at making friends with people Honestly, oh. same i wasn't bullied like like I, like though i was were like yeah no but elementary school like as in kids i don't even remember like even I was a fucking weirdo <laughs> <laughs> i used to do the dumb shit no shit. we don't talk about that though Bro, I still did i still do the dumb shit but the, like even though i was like stupid and like kind of nerdy like I, like, was good at making friends with people from all different groups. Like, so everybody probably, like, thinks of me just as, like... A nice guy. Yeah. Well, no. I don't know about nice, but just as, like, somebody. I don't know. guy. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think people from Oakland like me very much. Oh, people from Oakland? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Because I'm, cause I'm kind of mean. Some Oakland people are a little... Kind of a... weird. I'm just, like, I just kind of, like, say things that are just a little bit kind of crazy. Yeah, hey, uh, Matthew can contest to that. Yeah, I just say things that are kind of weird sometimes. Yeah, they're really weird. All right. <laughs> they, 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 can, they can hear you. What do you say? Very weird. <laughs> yeah. Like saying that Miss Krugelka is hot. Bro, that took her under. Bro, that's because our school is just a bunch of normies. For dead ass. Yeah. On God. <laughs> just On cousin. But you really. Bro, no one can hear you, bro. You, bro, you want me to plug you in a mic? No, that's bro. I can plug you in the mic real quick. You sure, sure Matthew? You sure? Tap in, tap in. Because you can't be just tap speaking in. and no one's going to hear your opinion. So, okay, fine. You <laughs> said, said like two things. Okay. 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 Mike, but you said like Terry. <laughs> and you guys are missing out to so, Matthew. Alright, it's not that deep. Do you miss people from Saginaw? I, lo- I, lo- I loved Saginaw. Um, I was actually really close to my cousins from Saginaw. Mm-hmm. His name is Jordan. He's kind of a little shit. Shout out Jordan, Michael Jordan. 
big fan of the podcast. His, his middle name is actually Michael. I know, yeah. I After, know. yeah, okay. Hit me up, Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls. Play yeah. for the Lakers. Anyways, he's kind of he's kind of a little shit, but I love him so much. And uh, <laughs> like when I moved here, like we like moved like from like right out of his house because that's where we lived like right before he moved to um, Okemos. And uh, it was the hardest thing. Like, do you, have, do you have any crazy stories from Saginaw? Crazy stories from Saginaw? Yeah. Some Just some... like stuff that happened in Saginaw. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Like, it's pretty. Um, I just have I just had like a really like crazy life kind of going on. I don't know if I should like talk about that too much because it's kind of like personal. Yeah. Uh-huh. But like, it was just really weird. Like, I I definitely have a lot more of a stressful life than people would think just from like the, the person I am because I don't I'm don't like I don't carry it on my sleeve like as much as other people do like they like try to act a certain way because of how things were in the past like people would re- you really couldn't assume like things that I've been through because I just like to have fun and just yeah and push you short <laughs> yeah how tall are you five nine and a half just kidding I don't know probably yeah five nine <laughs> doesn't matter. Leave me alone. It kind of does matter. You're just tall. Um, size matters. Yep. Size locks you. Bro, you just asked me how tall I was. You. I think I'm probably the shortest person in this room. Though. <laughs> 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 Stop it. No, it's not playing. Anymore. Shortest is an attention span. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything to say, Ben? <laughs> Wait, what are we? What are we? What are we talking about? No, we were just talking about second night, and then uh, I really want to say some stuff, but I feel like I'm just funny. Like what? Just say it right now. I bleep it out. I don't think it's like the the shit about Ellen and all them, like those fucking memes. What? I told you about this. Let, that noise that she made on the podcast. I don't think we should talk about that. <clears throat> exactly. That's why I said I don't want to offend anyone. Yeah, let's uh, delete all this shit. Why? They don't know what you're talking about. Are you going to bleep it all out? I won't bleep it all out. They just don't know what we're talking about. Well, uh, I uh, uh, you, say, you said one name. They're not going to be like, oh, yeah, Ellen. No, they're going to be like, who the fuck is Ellen? What about the kids from our school? All right, it's not that deep, bro. Yeah, it's not that deep. All yeah. right, I guess Calm down, Ellen, man. if you're hearing this, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're sorry, Ellen. For not not anything I gotta, really. No, I got to I gotta hear the story after the podcast. Like, There's nothing. It's nothing. There's no I'll story. Tell you, I'll tell you guys. Okay. It's okay. Not, there's no okay. story, guys. I don't know what he's talking yeah, about. All right, no story. story. No, no story. story. Okay, but anyway, you come to Okemos, and I really didn't even know you until, like, until I played football freshman year. And you, and, <laughs> so I'm football. <laughs> yeah, back in the football days. And you yeah. I don't remember this either. Like, I know. Funny story. This this true story I put on God. Um. <laughs> he, I quit football my freshman year. Obviously, I quit football, <laughs> and then um, sophomore year, and then he still played football in junior year, right? All the way, yeah. He played his junior year, and then I remember I was talking to like one of my friends, Tommy, and then he's just like, "Oh, Tommy, you should play football again. You would actually like, you would actually like playing football for blah 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 blah." And I was like, "Nah, I'm good." And then Xavier was sitting at the table, and he's just like. Why did you quit football, bro? I'm like, I, I just didn't like it. And he's just like, why does it matter, bro? I literally don't play any game, and I still, and I'm not quit, and I didn't quit. And I was like, okay, asshole. Like, it's not everybody wants to play football. And then the next year he quits. Like, it's just like, okay, whatever. I, I seriously don't remember this. Yeah, I, I remember, bro. I, Tommy said the same thing. Tommy said that happened. So like, it's I vividly remember. Like, cause I was like, wow. Like, well, I, but because like, I probably thought like you probably contributed to the team as just a tall black person. And, I mean, no, I literally did not play at all. <laughs> I literally, it's not like, oh, I hate the coach. No, it's like, I just didn't play. <laughs> it's like, yeah. what's the point of putting, wasting so much, not even wasting time, but like doing all those drills and everything. If you're not going to even like prove yourself. To cause it's coach. fun. To the, yeah. But like, if you if your end goal is to like get a better Bobby. A better body. A better Bobby. But, but free Bobby. <laughs> free Bobby. If your angle is to get a better body, then yeah, I guess play football, right? But like, <laughs> if your goal is that, if you're like, yeah, right if you're if you if you're like me and actually like like football and love watching the sport and the st- statistics, 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 <laughs> and then uh, the, the Dude, don't make fun of me. Has a speech impediment. I don't have a speech impediment. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, uh, sorry. <laughs> So, I mean, don't do that. What? That's bullying. What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you quit football? 
So why'd you go football? I don't mean to like sneak this on all kinds of people, but I don't really like the seniors. Like that on the whole team. Yeah. The 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 people in my grade. I don't really like the people in my grade that much. Like not not all like all, I like some yeah, people. But, like, but there's just a couple people that just like kinda ruin like the camaraderie feel, like we're supposed to feel like a team. But like mm-hmm. some people I just like well, that's every sport though. Bro, yeah, right. You're so there's good. always gonna be like one or two people that are gonna be like, "This is not a family." Yeah, no, but that shit's so fucking weird. People that do that shit. Yeah, and it's it. I re- I've come to realize that it's so bad at Okemis. Why? Why are Okemis worse than Lansing County Square? Because why is everybody such a f- dick at Okemis, bro? <laughs> Facts. You'd be like assholes at Okemis. You'd be like, bro, what's up, bro? And they'd be like, fuck you, shut up, bitch. And they'd be like, what has this happened to you? Yo, I want to name just drop. Like, uh, name I, just name like, name like random time. Time. Just like, You can name drop. I'll bleep it out. Dude, <laughs> I hate you so much. Wait, can I not name <laughs> He's the king of the king of doing that. I, I barely even want to do it. Dude, he, he's the type of person that, like, if you're not in his friend group, he'll, like, undermine you so much. But if his friend said the exact same thing, he'd be like, <laughs> dude, that's just facts. But, like, well, if... Well, he's like a groupie. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to keep talking about it because... I'm bleeping out this name, and no one's gonna know what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's too much work for Simon to do. Honestly, bro, like, but I feel like everybody would agree with it. Though. Uh, Just saying. Not everybody. A lot of people like it. <laughs> I don't understand. You don't understand. It's okay. I, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you you drop that name, and I feel like there's just a hundred other people that bring, are exactly like. Bring that. your my, mouth to the mic close. I did. You drop that name, and I feel like you're right. You're so right. Like there is like a hundred other people in their school that are just exactly like him. If you're not in, you're out. <laughs> exactly. It's bullshit. Fuck you if you do that shit. But he's just really good at doing it. You can barely hear who. Ben? ben? Can you hear me right now? I'm a little bit. It's like faint. Okay. okay. I gotta teach you how to do audio. Um, Technical difficulties. How about can you? Can you hear me? Ben, keep talking. Uh, 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 just a whole blue bar. <laughs> just him Don't blue. worry, we'll fix it in post. We'll probably turn down the volume because Ben's been screaming this whole entire time. Oh. <laughs> uh. So anyway, so now that you quit football, now you play basketball. I don't. I don't play for the basketball team. I just like to play basketball. Like just to play basketball? Why basketball over football? Um. You know, I actually never liked basketball, like ever, like like didn't really like to play. What like, made you like it? Um, just playing actually. Like I never liked to play, and then when I had to play, and then I just like, wait, this is actually fun. Like it's actually a cool sport. I don't know. It's just like, it's just cool. Yeah, exactly. Like I think everybody can like like the game. Of also, basketball. it's the I would say it's the most fun sport to watch. I disagree, but. <laughs> Simon, what is the most fun sport to watch? It's not. Not baseball. Matthew just said baseball. Maybe if you're at a baseball game, I'll watch a baseball, no, like a baseball game. You cannot pay me to watch baseball. Games. No, but if you're at the if, Simon, if what if you caught that ball though? Oh yeah. Uh, if. <laughs> Wait, you throw the ball back. No, no, no. Say that again. You would throw the ball. As a team, I didn't like probably. You would throw no, back the home run ball. Common, though. No, because like if it's a team that you're not rooting for no, and, okay, and they get the home is, run, so last the, week, if the no, other person no, catches no, it, they'll just throw it back. Sh- everybody be quiet and listen to Simon. Last week, right, we were talking about like, I said if Miguel, Miguel the <laughs> guy from the Tigers. Miguel, <laughs> Miguel Cabrera. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. If he hit his like, if he broke the record for home runs, right, yeah. in a single season, right, yep. and he hits a home run and you catch the ball and he's like, hey, can I get the ball back? In front of everybody, are you returning that ball, or are you gonna sell? Are you selling it? Am I am I in this scenario? Am I a, am I a Detroit fan? You're a fan, yeah. You're in the stadium. I'm keeping the ball. A, yeah. I give it back. No, Matthew, you gotta get a mic, bro. Yeah, just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would try and keep the ball as much as possible, but if they're like threatening to kick me out if I don't no, give no. the ball, I'll I'm, kick I'm, me out. Kick me out then. I'm getting that ball and I'm calling nine one one. Like I'm getting security because everybody's they're gonna either attack me or they're gonna like because. Bro, I would shove that shit up my ass. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Either that or I'm running. I'm literally... I'm out. I'm out. Thank you. I love the Tigers, but... Yeah, no. I did, no I, I'd take that ball and dip. Yeah, like, you couldn't pay me enough to, like, give that ball back. Because, like, like, I like you, Mr. Mc... 
Cabrera. Mr. McGregor. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about the Mr. same Mc- thing, but like, I'm McGregor. just saying, like, Mr. Cabrera. I understand that we're like athletes, so we worked our whole entire life to like achieve this goal. But it's like, bro, you have enough money. Why can't we just make a deal? Or someone on eBay, some rich nerd, is gonna pay three million for this. So unless you're yeah. gonna pay three million or more, I guess you can go buy it off that guy, and he's probably gonna sell it for more. So I mean, either way, it's a lose <sighs> situation for the player. If the player should just give it up. But I like it when I mean, um, when the the athletes like give the ball. Like you know, like Cam Newton does the thing where like after he scores a touchdown, he'll just like throw the yeah, ball. Yeah, but it's, it's a football. It's a bit the baseball. But that, they that no, but the money right no, there. but the, what? Because no, because you're a le- you're a lot plus, more likely to get a a, a, a plus, game baseball than you are a game football. And then plus they always give it to like little kids, so it's like you know <laughs> the chances of that is no, 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 no. You're, you're there's home runs all the time in baseball. How often do you get a th- football thrown? I'm talking about footballs. They, no, they, there's never footballs thrown in the same. They, they do it in hockey too. They they take their sticks after they score goals sometimes and they be chucking them no over. No one the thing. cares about the sticks. Oh. Yeah, ho- well, fuck hockey. I think hockey's pretty cool. My cousin plays the it. Most interesting sport to watch is probably football or boxing. Dude, or hockey. Football's like. I feel Why like. Why hockey? Because sometimes those people be getting mad at each other and they're like, no, go start fucking no going. No one's in. watching hockey. Okay. What's the difference between hockey and basketball? Ho- and baseball? Hockey, hockey, interesting. Hockey and like so- soccer are like they're cool, like in highlights, but like watching an entire game is like nah. Like cause I like it's watching so it. long and nothing happens. A hockey soccer. game not long. Manchester United, you know the soccer team. Yeah, Manchester. Manchester. Nobody calls it that. Maybe. Manchester. Maybe. I play for Manchester. Manchester. <laughs> there was a British lady who came through the drive. Or, no, she was from New Zealand, and she came through the drive, and she's like. Two bacon McDoubles, a large Coke, and two kids' Happy Meals for girls, six piece nuggets, apple slices on the side, and it'll be sweet and sour sauce. Sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's? Sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's? What happened to Szechuan sauce? That is gone forever. (laughs) Did you ever try it? I did try it, and I actually have two packets hidden. In my house. <laughs> Are you serious? I have two packs. Are you going to sell house. them on eBay in like 10 years? Whoa, Take 20 or 30. They're they're not worth a lot right now. Uh, right now. <laughs> he's waiting, <laughs> he's waiting for the market to go up and then he's going to... Hey, it's like a Bitcoin. It's a Bitcoin <laughs> lifestyle. Next thing you know, you're going to see millionaire Ben Johnson wins. <laughs> off, off. He's like, no, no, no. You won't believe how so many... Dude. He's like, man sells fresh farm sauces for $2.5 billion. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine somebody who actually would buy that. Uh, Probably like some rich guy. And then Probably some like, fat Asian. You know what? I'm like the Trump. Trump. Wait, wait fat Asian? Yeah, because those Asians, <laughs> those Asians, they come in there in like their GTRs and shit in their, um, their uh, Mercedes and stuff. And when we had the Szechuan sauces, they'd be like... They order like a like a like a four piece tender or something, a four piece tender meal or something, like a ten piece tender, and they'd ask for like twenty packs of sweet and sour or Szechuan sauce, like twenty or thirty, and they would be paying out the nose for extra sauce, dude. Like I could charge them. I've charged up to five bucks to an Asian in extra sauce just for freaking Szechuan. It's crazy. Matthew, can you turn the screen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. I mean, what you said is not true at all. Yes, it is. If you work at McDonald's, you know McDonald's gang. Shout out anybody who works at McDonald's. Love you guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't know what to say. That everything's fine. But I don't know what to say. Um, any comments? Both marks. No, that's gonna fuck up the audience. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were you talking about? The Szechuan sauce is no, in the Asian. Forced to watch. Oh, <laughs> basketball. You say basketball. I say boxing. Hockey. Boxing. Hockey all the way. I don't even play hockey. Boxing is kind of boring. Boxing is like a little dude. It's like that's and now you hockey. Watch, you watch he that. was like he was like hockey is cool to watch because there's fighting and you're like no and then but you want to watch boxing because bo- yeah boxing and that's all. It I is. feel like boxing is just. I think boxing is. I, I think boxing is um interesting to watch because like you watch that ksi logan ball fight okay when it's shit like that we already know or anytime floyd mayweather floyd mayweather versus conor mcgregor come on you can't tell that was not an interesting fight. i mean those kind of fights are interesting but it's like when it's like abdul hamir blah, 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 versus okay, yeah, james I'll- cray i like what who are those people uh, it's just two dudes fighting i could see that on the fucking streets of campus any day okay well and then if 
fighting in general. Right? Yeah, exactly. Fighting anywhere you go, fighting, you want to watch it, right? Everybody's like, send the fight. World video. Star! Let's send the fight video or whatever. I don't know. Remember the fight at that party? I just feel. You're talking about like college football or like NFL? NFL. I think the NFL just like seems like kind of like scripted. Everything's like like everything's like so precise. Like when college and like in college football, anything can happen. See, that's it's, where I say that is incorrect. Uh-uh. That's the most inconsistent. Denied. Of fall. Yeah, denied. Like college football, it's um, it's always the same teams in the playoffs. No, it's Alabama, Clemson. But it's different players Ohio that State. play differently. Yeah, you're they, gonna no, see. There's always, gonna, there's always different gonna, players. You're gonna see the same, same players team. in the NFL it's forever. Because it's a power. It's exactly like college. Because they're powerhouses. Powerhouses. It's 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 a monopoly. College football is just a monopoly. You cannot say that's in the NFL. Because the Patriots, they don't get everybody every single time. Every single year, they don't get the, the number one QB, the number one running back, right? But you see Alabama, that's literally every single year. Well, this guy's the number five middle linebacker in the nation. This guy's the number six D tackle. And then, of course, they blow out. You know, they're averaging 50 points a game in college football. How's that How's that entertaining? How the hell is that entertaining? 50 points a game? That's just blowouts. And then they've been, I mean, they don't have the number one defense, but literally every single year, the defense, they, they had like three first round picks in Alabama. I mean, like, of course, like the, the Big Ten teams are always going to do good and all these teams are just going to always just be in it. But like, that's what you expect. Like, you're lit- they literally have the best players. Like, they're, that's how it okay, is. Okay, but it's not like you say it's, it's always different. It's scripted. No, it's not. Buffalo Bills, right? The worst team in the NFL beat Minnesota in Minnesota. Anything can, they, these are professionals. Anything can happen, right? Yeah, no, the game, the game, like that. Aaron Rodgers beat, beat the Cardinals with two Hail Mary passes. Tell me that's scripted. But I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's scripted. It just seems like everything is like by the book. Well, like in college, players are just like making mistakes and doing crazy stuff and it works out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It just like, it just feels like exciting to watch. Like there's like more trick plays. More like it's just like everything. Yeah, more trick plays because these kids don't know how to. I rather watch professionals do their job and actually know how to win. Like anything can happen in the NFL. It's not, it's not. I mean, yeah, you can say the Patriots make the playoffs every year, but the wild card is always different, right? No one said before the season, "Oh, Chiefs have a serious chance to make the playoffs." I did. No, okay, but no one thought they're gonna be the number one seed. Guys, okay. I just thought of a better sport to watch. What? Formula One racing or exotic car racing? No, NASCAR. What about? No, not NASCAR. NASCAR. Fucking like the Formula Ones, like the guys, and then like the ones where they have like the Lamborghinis and stuff, like the European circuits. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's like there's NASCAR, which is like American pastime racing, hmm. whatever, and then there's Formula Ones. Those are the guys that are going like 250 miles an hour, or whatever, like the the sick airplane looking cars, and then you have the European circuit, and those are like Ferraris, Lamborghinis, McLarens, Mercedes GTs. All those cars being put to their limits. <laughs> he's so pa- he's so passionate about something that no one knows. Because I forgot about it, and then I was like, "Wait, no, no, no. oh what shit!" Interesting sport to watch: professional beanbag tossing. Have you watched that? Professional co- yeah. professional cornhole. Yeah, cornhole. Yeah. 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 Cornhole. Professional I'm furry too- hunting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see you guys later. Uh, this is gonna be the end of my podcast. Goodbye. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. The, the, actually, you know, like, the, the NASCAR vine is my favorite vine, though. Oh, it's like, you got two NASCAR, like, you got a NASCAR? And then it's like, yeah, you got a NASCAR, too. Got NASCAR. No. Like, we should race these two NASCARs. No, not and that, then, no, not that one. It's the, it's the one where, um, it's like the, there's only one race, the human race, and then the nigga slapped, and he's like, what about NASCAR? <laughs> what? What? Because like there's only one race, the human race, what about NASCAR? Dude, it's such a good Stand one. Stand-up comedian right there. <laughs> it's so it's so good. All right, y'all don't know what comedy is. I don't. Yeah, apparently, I'm saying like best you comedian have, of all time. Okay, it doesn't sound funny. You just gotta watch. I don't it. know why you're laughing. It's, one, it's like you had to be there. Best comedian of all time. Go. Best comedian of all time. Dude, Adam Sandler can literally play a Ben woman. Shapiro. Dave Shapiro. Ben Shapiro ben is the best comedian of all time. <laughs> what? All right, Dave, Dave Chappelle is pretty funny. Adam Sandler. I'm being dead. Too. Kevin Hart. Yo. No. Why, well, like, tell me why Kevin Hart is funny. Tell me why Adam Sandler is the best actor and actress. Actor. Adam actor. Sandler fell off. <laughs> Adam Sandler off. fell off. Yep. Nope. Nope. Let's not go here. Was like, Jack and Jill no, interesting? No. Dude, Jack and Jill. That's best. Jack and Jill is the best movie of all time. That's one bomb out of many. 
Oh, so you're telling, you, you're telling me every single Dave Chappelle comics gets a, a bang? Is my phone over here? What's my phone? Uh, Matthew, can you look Wait. up the best comedian of all time is? Quality over quantity. Hey, Gabriel, ch- check my phone. And it just happens that Dave Chappelle has a lot of quality quantity. So does Adam Sandler. Are you kidding me? Growing up's one okay. and two. Okay, 50. So he's writing it. You can He gives writer credits. And plus, you have to give credit for acting, right? He could be trash. Go, if line delivery is just as important as writing. Oh yeah, for sure. You can have like an unpretty, un, un, I, uh, a funny line, but said by somebody. Just imagine, screen. like, and it just won't work. Just imagine, I don't know, your school teacher, your boring biology teacher. Every, you know, everybody's got that one boring teacher. Just imagine you gave him the same speech as the "I have a dream" speech, right? That's just gonna be trash. <laughs> like, just imagine he said that in front of Washington DC. Are we going, are we going stand-up or just overall? Uh, overall, because comedy, comedy is, you know, Richard Pryor, Chris Richard Rock. Pryor, Chris Rock. Rock. Just give top five. So he said Richard Pryor, Chris Rock, Eddie Murphy. Okay. Well, what is he looking up right now? Okay, my favorite comedian, Adam Sandler. There's no way you cannot tell me that he's not the greatest comedian of all time. Yeah, but I don't really like Jewish people. See, that's what you get. I'm you think I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Send me these snaps, man. How many Snapchats do I have? How many Snapchats do I have, Simon? 109. Okay, quick flex. Quick flex. Odd flex, flex girl. On the back screen. Stop, bro. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll bleep that out. Okay. Do you, you want me to? I don't care. Oh, no, this is way too much editing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Nobody even listens this far. <gasps> I did. I'm I just listen- kidding. The OGs only. I listened. We're 30 it- minutes in. Well, people listen okay, that okay, far. I'm everybody's just- like, everybody's like, uh, I got boring in 15 minutes. I'm like, really? Damn. Yeah, that's like one time. Only the OGs. If you're worried, listen here right now. No, no, you gotta go way down. Yo, I just, I just, I just put on the podcast and I like treat it like it's like ASMR. Fall this, one guy, this one guy came up to me. He's just like, oh yeah, I listened to your podcast with Ben. I was like, oh thanks, bro. He's like, yeah, but I only got through 30 minutes. I'm like, oh that's okay, that's fine. He's like, yeah. He's like, he's like, what the fuck were you guys talking about for an hour? I was like, <laughs> like stuff. Yeah, no, like, you okay, can get wait, give Matthew your mic, give Matthew your mic. Okay, here's the top five. Ben's. These are our top five comedians, like, uh, literally on a website top called one, the Top Ten. Kevin Hart? Uh, five, Jim Carrey. Oh, he's Four, pretty funny. Rowan Atkinson. Okay. Uh, three, Louis C.K. Okay, I mean, he's kind of Two, good. Robin Williams. He's rest in peace. And then number one, whoever the hell this guy is, George Carlin. We show a picture. Oh, I don't even know who that guy is. I don't know who the fuck that is either. You know, let's look up some. No. No. So, Snubs. Okay, Snubs. Adam Sandler. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Chris Rock. I think I think Jim Carrey's pretty talented. Jim Carrey's pretty talented. Yeah. Pretty well. Woody Allen. Oh yeah, Woody Allen too. Ben Stiller. (laughs) <laughs> ben Stiller. Bro, which uh I like the fourth night in the museum the best. <laughs> that was a dude, he's always in those like weird movies. Yeah. Like they give him the weirdest main role. Like, Bro, Secret Life of Walter Mitty was a good movie. Secret Life of Walter Mitty. No one can hear you. Zoolander. No one can hear you. Zoolander, I heard that shit was you so sure funny, you don't but I never seen it. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Can you get off your phone? Seriously? Who, who, is is who is this? Who is this? Who is this? They can't see it. Just take off your phone. Just put your, thank you. put your phone you're like my You're like my manager, man. Right, we gotta do... We're doing a podcast. Like, we can't just have you be distracted. Wait, this is for a podcast? <laughs> I'm scared. <just kidding. laughs> I thought we were recording a ringtone. Actually, this is not... Cameras aren't even on, probably. Watch. The audio's about to be all fucked up. And then the gonna... cameras aren't even on. Matthew, is the camera on? Okay, good. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Is it is it recording? Though? Yes, it's recording. Now. Okay, sorry. It's okay. We can. Ah! All right. Yeah. So, greatest comedians of all time, Adam Sandler. Okay, okay. I'll give my list. So many people are gonna disagree with you. Time no, but funny. it's okay. I can't this even make. A, I can't even. Make Everybody a, disagrees with me. Every Everybody single, has their own opinion. Every, no, it's not even about their uh, own opinion. Everybody's just gonna disagree with my opinion because it's me, right? They disagreed with my top ten fast food restaurant list. What was your What was your number one at top ten? Number one was Subway. What? Hey, no. Subway how? for life. Wait, yes. no, but how, though? Subway? I give... No. How Subway not number one? It's just good for you. Hey, what's your number two? 
What's your number one? What's your number one? My number one? Just yeah. like, what do I like to eat? Dude, if I'm going to actually just Fast food, up, number one. Yeah, best, fa my, hey, best fast food hey, restaurant. Best fast food restaurant. Hold on. Okay. I'm just, hold on. If I'm going out to go get some fast food, want some cheap food, delicious, I'm going to go to McDonald's and pick up a 20-piece McNugget for five bucks. Oh my god, that's my number two. That's my number two. That's literally what well, I Matthew, ordered. Can you look on my list real quick? Twenty piece for five I bucks. Can't, that, I you can't beat that. Well, actually, you can get fifty nuggets at Burger King for five thirty-five. Their nuggets are terrible. If you cook them to order and grab some sweet and sour sauce, it's not that bad. Oh well, okay. I'm not gonna. Burger, Burger, King, Burger, Burger, Burger King has the best fries. Burger King is so they upcharge. Burger King pretty good fries. Burger King has such expensive drinks; it's ridiculous. It costs oh, as yeah. much as your meal. Okay, so this is what you do. Never buy. This is what you do. Make money. Go buy five bucks of nuggets, which is fifty nuggets at Burger King. Go. One restaurant over past Taco Bell, the McDonald's. Grab your large Coke for a dollar, light ice, go home, start smashing your food, and be full. Dude, you wonder what I miss from Burger King? Burger King's like, terrible. I miss I miss mac and Cheetos from Burger King. Mac oh, I never got to try them. Those were bless. Skip those boys and some ketchup. As soon as I go there, like sorry, they're out of order. Like we ran out and like we're like we're not we're out of stock with it. They're done. It's like oh my god, I'm. I never tried it. Dude, they bro, were, they were good as hell. They looked like nice. Like, bro, that was some food. I even like Cheetos, like regular Cheetos, like that. You don't like hot Cheetos? No. What? You're black. No, no, I like hot Cheetos. Oh, okay. Like, I look for. I don't know any yeah. black people that don't like hot Cheetos. Bro. Well, I don't know any black people that don't like hot Cheetos either. Yeah. What? We keep talking. I have to find my list. All the damn girls at Career Center, they be like, "Hey, hot Cheetos!" Hey, and they got their like, fucking one liter of brisk. <laughs> like their shit, they got their brisk. They got their hot tea. <laughs> their one liter of brisk, bro. You can your eyes start to when you walk into the center of career center and they're all sitting there. Your eyes start to burn. Your eyes start to burn because the <laughs> Cheetos just hit your fucking eyes. Bro, you just walk. It's like tear gas, bro. It's like CS gas. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna make my new list right now. <clears throat> top ten. Well, I'll make your list right now. Right? Of fast food? Yeah, you go first. You're the guest. Top ten fast food? Yeah, top ten. Can I start from one? I'll start from one. I can only okay. do like top five because I don't even. I have. Okay, five. five I haven't even five, been five, at five. ten fast food restaurants. <laughs> Whatever, just okay. go five. Okay, okay, fine. I like McDonald's. Number one. Okay. Um, I like uh, Culver's. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. Uh, no, keep going. Keep, we'll, we'll debate after. Okay, and then <laughs> so like, and then mad. like your like Subway slash Jimmy John's at number three. They're not the same. Simon's mad, bro. Okay, uh, sorry. You have to have one or the other. So, Subway. Yeah, because there's just so much more meat and flavor on the sandwich. Uh, sure. okay. Um, five mean. guys burgers and fries. Oh, five guys. Dude, Some guys, people say that's not fast food. Dude, Five Guys is, Actually, that is but it's so what? expensive. It's the most expensive yeah. fast food you can get. If I go into Five Guys, I'm bringing my fu I'm bringing my fucking parents. Dude, you gotta bring your whole fast. paycheck too. You gotta bring that discounts, to coupons. Yeah, Matthew. No one can hear you. Matthew, what is, do I gotta say? That? You told you told me this. I feel like he's told me this like ten times. Like he got like a, a cheeseburger, a freaking fries and a drink for like ten bucks. What was it? Fifteen dollars for cheeseburger fries and a drink. Okay, number five. That's ridiculous. I don't know. Like, dude, I really hate to like say it, but like I haven't been to a lot of places, so I'm just gonna put on like Taco Bell or something. I know you're gonna say Taco Bell. Yeah, because I mean, they, there's just like I feel like with fast food restaurants, like you go to these fast food restaurants when you're younger, and you like those fast food restaurants so much when you're younger, and you get to know those restaurants. Those like three or four restaurants that you always like picked when you were younger. As soon as you get a car. Those are the three or four restaurants that you're going to. Yeah, you're not going. Like, I'm going to go try a different fast food place today. Like, because you oh, know. Because okay. you don't want to waste your hey, money. Hey, hey, hey. Chick-fil-A. I forgot about Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is oh, definitely yeah. up there. Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, McDonald's and, like, Chick-fil-A and okay. like, Culver's. I'll get my top five. Starting from number one, McDonald's. Yeah, we all know that. Because just... And then number two is definitely Subway. Love my spicy Italians. I like the cold cut combo from Subway. I never had that. What is it? Turkey and lamb? Oh, there's no turkey and lamb? Dude, it has ham, neither, ham, 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 neither ham. one of those things around it. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Sure. That was my bad. But, um, okay, so number two is Subway. Number three. <laughs> Five Guys. Five Guys is really fucking good. Number four is definitely Culver's. I love, I love me some good Culver's. I love a good concrete mixer. Yeah, they're kind of, I like that. And number five, Chick-fil-A. 
I love Chick Fil A. Can't beat a spicy chicken. You know, lemonade. There's spicy chicken, bro. Spicy chicken. Everywhere I go, I get spicy. Culver's, I get the spicy chicken tenders. Uh, okay. If no. I go to, if I go to, um, if I go to Chick. Wait, what did I just? Culver's and Chick Fil A. I always get the spicy chicken. Okay. So, hey, Adam was working you, at McDonald's. Today. I'm gonna let you guys know you're not gonna like my list at all. I know we're gonna hate you on this. Hey, we're gonna hate you so it's much. Completely factual. No bias. Simon likes McDonald's, so I know that. There's nothing. Bias. All right, just get on with it. I don't care. Number Kay. one, Subway. We know okay. this. Okay. Number two, Popeyes. <laughs> I, haven't been, I haven't been there. I never had. A, I've never had a Popeyes. Popeyes. Hey. It's like a, it's a black person thing. Yeah, it's like it's a black, black people no, thing. If it was a black thing, I would have said KFC. No, KFC, but, that's a no, race. No. That's like the racist that's stereotype racist of black stereotype. people. But like Popeyes is like the one that's that black the people actually, actually $5 like. Five dollar chicken mark. That's all I gotta say. Five dollar chicken. Five dollar chicken. I'm gonna have to try it sometime. Yeah, number three, McDonald's. You know. Yeah, it's well, actually good. I don't even like McDonald's. McDonald's. It's such fries. a good comfort food I'm when you're like exactly like when you're at two a.m. and you want to like it's always twenty four hours. That was the first time you and Simon really hung out. Everything that like McChicken and fries can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with the oh, McChicken. I just fries. I just, no, I Their fries are delicious. No, they don't have the best fries. But number four, mm. Taco Bell. Just out of respect. I don't even like Mexican food. Oh, I kind of like Wendy's. I just realized. Oh, that was, I keep forgetting that, that, was, that, Wendy's, that was my number five. Ooh, that ooh. was my number five. What? I don't, I, I'm, I'm allergic Xavier. to the fried. I'm uh, that was my number five. I'm Mexican. You gotta like the Wendy's, meat. yeah. Because yeah. the Frosties changed the game. Frosties the fifty so cent, good. the fifty the cent small frosty. Bro, oh my god! Where else are you gonna so get that? Where else are you gonna go? I've had a frosty in a long time. I still can't even do it now. It's crazy. It's like it's like it's, I don't know. It's like way sweeter. Like, like I do this in a letter in your mom's car. That sucks. Hey, is there was there a third topic that like you want to talk to me about? No, we already talked about it. it was, this is like the you being like senior at home. This is like the thing to think. Okay. Anyway, we're just completely... Should we get Matthew on this? Point? Should we get oh, Matthew no, on Matthew doesn't even want to be on. Matthew, come here. We need to know your top five favorite fast food restaurants. Xavier, pass him your mind. He says he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't want to say, say it? <laughs> he doesn't have a top five. What's number one? Matthew's thinking. Deciding very hard right now. Five, five guys. guys. His number... It's pretty good. At, no, it's just good. Yeah. I would put... We're not talking price. We're talking flavor. Talk, okay, flavor-wise, I don't know. They don't even cook the best burgers. Flavor-wise, Subway is my number one. Who do you think has the best burger? Best fast food burgers? Yeah. I mean, McDonald's Quarter Pounder, pretty good. With that fresh beef and shit. I don't know what he's talking about. Fresh I'm talking about a Quarter Pounder with cheese from McDonald's. Nothing from Dropped McDonald's. fresh on the grill, lightly seasoned. I feel like everybody at McDonald's just spits in their food. Yeah. <laughs> I've never spit in anybody's food. No way. You don't cook the you ever, you ever you If you got to? caught spitting in the food, they'd call the police on you. <laughs> <laughs> like, I swear no, to God. This guy's called. He's spitting in the food. Come here quick. <laughs> no. No, it's not like that. I don't know why I tapped you. It's not like that, dude. Like, you that's disgusting. Dude, no, I feel like th- that's like a probably a chargeable offense. It is. And they like, will prosecute you. Like, that's like risking diseases and shit. One time, I took a sip out of somebody's drink and I handed it out the window. Dude, you just incriminated yourself hard. Whore. Guys, yeah, I'm you, just you, fucking you kidding. Actually, you actually have to believe I would that. never actually do that. Okay. <laughs> I hope he's lying. Um, he's not lying? He's just like... I'm not that big He just doesn't want to have to have you believe it. Let's just talk about um, something political. Is Donald Trump cool or evil? Cool or evil? I think he's pretty cool. I feel like Simon's low-key a fan of Donald Trump because Kanye I is like, like, likes him I now. feel like... And he's like a huge Kanye guy. He has, what has he done that's really like awfully racist? Like nothing like actually. That, that wasn't the thing. You said cool or evil, not racist. Is he cool or evil? Is he cool or evil? Yeah. Being a, a Latino Mexican like, okay, American. Okay. I, I wouldn't hang out with Trump. I don't think I would hang out with Trump either, but I don't hate him. I don't think he's innately evil. I, just, I don't think he's evil, yeah. Like I think evil's he, like like think he's, yeah. I think he's good or bad. It's like Kim Jong un. Good or bad? Good Dude, or but bad? That's not a good. I think I'm super in the middle about him. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't have a. I don't have like a really. I mean, I'm more than he's good. I'm more Republican. Yeah, but it's just like I don't know. Me and you and John Luke were all talking about that. Like he, how lot, how you become conservative or Democrat. A lot of, yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk a lot of that. people think that I'm. Cons- okay, wait, oh, hold up. No, no, no finish. He's, he's the guest. He's, he's the guest. guest. Let him finish. I was. Okay, just, yeah. I was just gonna say that a lot of people kind of think that I'm. A lot of people like think that I'm conservative. Like a oh, lot of yeah. like because like when I talk you're, about things, you're in the middle. Um, I talk like 
like in favor of like a lot of like small government and like a lot of like. So you're bipartisan. No, he's libertarian. I'm a libertarian. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Which no one believes. Wow. That. Yeah. Okay. I, I I'm a free I'm, thinker. I'm a I think I think for myself. You're I'm a what? Marxist. 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 <laughs> no, you're not, bro. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> But anyway, I'm like, the, I'm like the opposite. Pull of out the communist like. manifesto, just slap it on the table. <gasps> I'm, 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 I'm on the exact opposite side of what a Marxist would be. So you're you're that no everybody needs to take care. Like you're it's an like, anarchist. It's like, well, not quite. It's like little government. It's it's it's, it's, government. it's, it's the closest small. thing you can get to anarchy as possible, but not anarchy. Okay, but no, this is why I said it, right? I was talking to... That'd be like a... That's like more of a confederacy. Like, exactly. Where, where, but almost like the states don't have power. Either. Yeah, it, it seems like it. But the states the states have all the power. Like, I don't believe in like a really a centralized government. I think everything should be done in the state local level. I don't think that would ever work. But... It but it, it, There's it, just too many it, issues it, to, In my opinion, I don't think it would It'd be so combative. Like, you'd have states going to war with each other. No, because each state would be... Because... You're allowed to make up what you want to do, and like, we're not like we're not like it doesn't have anything to do with like imperialism. Like, you're not gonna try and like take over another state and try to get them to change Wait, why because would change? we're all living, like we're all doing our own thing. Everything's private property. You do your own thing on your own time in your own house, whatever you do. But it's like, but then you're gonna have one person that's like a fucking Hitler that gets elected, <laughs> and he, wants he won't. To... He won't get elected though. Why wouldn't he get elected? Because it's collective. And dude, if one state fucks itself, then it's gonna fuck itself, and all the states around it are gonna be like, "Haha, you're an idiot." But I don't know. I just think in in human nature, it's humans always want power. That's just the thing that all humans strive for is power. I, and and, the if, way, and but if I were, can side with Xavier on but this, if, like, if that were actually Almost. like if that were actually true, like don't you think like I mean, we would have, like, we have already been like, right? Why don't we just have one country? But it's not. Why do we go to war? Because there's always going to be bad people. Yeah, in the there's world. always going to be bad people. Yeah, but like World War One, World War Two, French and Indian War, the War of eighteen twelve, like World War. I mean, war, dude, revolutionary war, wars are never going to stop. It's all about power. Wars are never going to stop because there's never going to no, stop. No, it's never. I mean, it's never going to stop. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying all this war in the past. I'm not talking about recently. I mean, Vietnam. Is different. America isn't even looking for power right now. They, what they're they doing right now. It's not looking for power because we have so much problems inside the country that we can't focus on outside. Power. Unless, except for North Korea. I, I don't believe in like messing with other people, like foreign affairs. I think we should. I don't think so. I, I believe I think, it when... I think, that's exactly how... No, no, no. Because I don't believe in wasting money and stuff like that either. But when you have people like bombing innocent people, even in Europe and stuff and things like that, and there's hundreds of people being killed by like ISIS-affiliated people, hey, 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 you need to take care of those issues. And I agree with that. But well, let me say this. Every time we, we go into a war... And we the point that let's say World War One, right? The purpose was to the purpose of World War One was to stop Germany from major wars and big wars. Well, they directly affect us, so therefore we should get involved because it hurts other it hurts other people's economies and our and our economy is but based off we, of other okay, countries' economies. Literally, look at Germany. Every time we left Germany, right? The first time we left Germany after World War One, they literally got Hitler elected, right? When we left, when we left, um, not right away. Well, nobody knew right Hitler away, was no, going to be bad. I'm not saying right away. Oh my God, John Luke is calling me. I'm sorry, guys. Put him on John, speaker. John Luca. John yeah. Luca. You're on the podcast right yeah. now. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> hey, why you call? Do you hear John Luca over there? Yeah. Bro, are you actually doing a podcast right now? Yeah, I'm with Ben and Xavier. What's up, John Luca? Oh, are you guys, are you guys going to still go tonight? Go where? The thing. The party. Uh, can I call you back? Alright. I'll text him over Snap. Okay, yeah. The, anyway. the, and the only, the main reason that Hitler got elected was because of how faulty their system is. Like their system was faulty, and that's why he got elected in the first place. Yeah, but I'm saying when we dude, he didn't he didn't have the majority of people on his side. He just had the highest number than any other candidate there was I'm in Germany saying, at the time. I'm just saying when you go into a war, and your 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 main goal is to stop a country, you're gonna and you leave that country alone. Of course, the economics was gonna is gonna drop. There's no way you're going to let that country survive. Like, every time a country gets attacked and they get left, like, look at Africa. No, as long as a, as long as a country has natural resources and they have people smart enough to use that, they're going to bounce back. 
Dude, look at us in the Great Depression. We bounced back. Yeah, but I mean, that was not because of foreign affairs. No one took over America. Yeah, no, and they left no, us. no, no. What I'm saying is that we were on our own during the Great Depression. We were on our own. No one came over and helped us. We did, we did it ourselves. We came out. Yeah, but we've seen this happen before in other countries where, where, <clears throat> and plus it was because you have to give credit to FDR. He was the same man. No crazy person was running for president. World War Two got us out of the Great Depression. FDR was okay as a president. He was a great president. Got us out of the Great Depression. He didn't get us out of the Great Depression. Yeah, he did. If Hoover was president during World War II, we would have credited Hoover for getting us out of the Great Depression. If I were president during World War II, you would be crediting me for getting us out of the Great Depression. Okay, guys. It's World, like War World War II really boosted us out of the Great Depression. Okay. It would have taken us at least 10, okay, 20 what? years to ever recover from that. I'm just saying, right? Every time. Let's see, anytime you take over a country, right? Let's say Africa, right? His slavery, right? Yeah. If you take over a country, but that's a budget. if you just take over a country and you just all of a sudden just leave it alone, that's how you're going to get crazy dictators. You cannot tell. Like, we've seen this happen before. Like, that's why we have people. In, in, that's why Somalia doesn't even have a government to, to this day. It's too crazy of an environment. And you have people in Nigeria. You still got, like, crazy organization in Nigeria where you have terrorists stealing daughters and then holding so them you, to prison. Are you saying that we should go into these countries and establish governments? Further. I'm saying that we should I'm go into we this should, country and just I, and blow the fuck. I say we it. should go into these countries and make sure our government is set up until then. Then we should leave. I don't think we should just let them deal off on their own because then the same thing is just going to happen. But we gotta, Simon, we gotta, this is the problem with that situation because hold on. America Wait, can come in. No, and, that's a good. That's a that's a good idea. No, but, it's not. Yeah, it is because we did it in Korea. And Dude, it, South Korea is thriving while North Korea is shit because we helped. We helped with their government. We helped them during the war. That's why Korea is one of the richest countries. It works. I know. I know what you're saying. It does work. But the problem is that there's already so much problems and so much famine and disease in Africa. We have to solve that before we can start establishing a government. No, I'm not saying we should help Africa because at the end of the day, Africa, um, it's it's like uh, I love Africa, but they have to figure it out on their own at this point. Yeah. I don't think even honestly, I don't think they would even accept anyone's help at this point. I think it's just about pride. Yeah. It's yeah. What Matthew said. I think it's kind of too late. We're like. They're, like they would, they would accept money, but I don't think they would accept a whole entire takeover. Yeah. So, but I'm saying like places like Syria, right, with ISIS and everything. We need troops in that area because if Syria, if ISIS takes over Syria, I, th I think we need to intervene, like because of a moral thing. Like they're, they're like but kids are getting if killed. Syria gets taken over by like ISIS. They're just gonna take over the next country, and then that's exactly what this is about. Is about but to be. but the just because. Mm -hmm. Um, a group of people takes over one place doesn't mean that all the civilians are going to hop on like, oh, this is the right thing to do now. Now that they're our leader, like revolutions happen. It's not. No, it's, yeah, revolutions it's, happen. But like when like for ISIS, right? I'm sorry for cutting you off, but I no, but like ISIS, right? It's a military. And when they ha when they get when they get all if they if ISIS came through that door right now and they all had guns to say and they hand us guns to say Sh you're either gonna fight with us or you're gonna die. Do you know? Okay, you what die? we're gonna say is we're gonna fight with them and then we're all gonna get behind them. Do you know? Blow those. Do you know? Do you, do you know what would happen if ISIS was in control of the entire like? like what if your mom area? was in control with? Dude, ISIS? they would just <laughs> they would just collapse. These people are really stupid. All they're doing is just making a scene. Have you guys they, seen the videos of like the ISIS fighters and they actually ended up catching, capturing like a Syrian government airbase? They had all the MIGs and shit and they were like acting like they knew how they, like they, they knew how to do shit. But in reality, they didn't even know how to start those things. Did you guys hear about that? They, they, were, they said they were taking over tanks and things, objects like that. They were stealing guns, but half the shit just got left there because the Americans came through and it was all just sitting there. Even though it was claimed to have been captured, they had no idea how to work these things. Yeah, it was just it's way not too like advanced. it's not like they're super intelligent people. I mean, okay, that are militant. Okay, yeah, and they're because anybody who's like, ISIS is not yeah. smart. Okay, ISIS I, isn't I agree smart. With you. ISIS no smart. Hmm. <laughs> no, no, Obama's ISIS. No, I agree. With ISIS, you. ISIS is gone. Is not the smartest, but I'm saying like a group like, like let's go back to Hitler, right? If because Hitler wasn't the dumbest guy, he obviously Hitler was oh, a yeah. Hitler was a charismatic leader, and he was he was decently educated. You know, like obviously he was he educated. To, yeah, he went to he went to uh, he went to school. He, he didn't go to Harvard. <laughs> Man, shut the fuck up. Hitler went to Harvard. Yeah, Hitler went, no, but he went to university. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, he, he went to school and stuff like that. And he's a smart guy. He obviously knew how to find a whole entire country to get behind him to enough to the where he had the, one of the strongest militaries in the, in his era. But I'm saying like. This is how I see foreign affairs. 
if your government is not set up right and you're a threat to other countries that are that supports us right that supports us i feel like you i feel like as america to help our allies i feel like we should stay there and make sure we can actually get a, a government set up and then once that government can set up and they have a military to defend themselves against other threats like isis how did they use that military and just attack us hey, uh, who's paying for that though Who's paying, who's paying to keep people in other countries? So who's paying for us to help other countries? Okay, we are. But then they pay us back. How? They, I mean, we don't... don't other how, countries how, how do we make money from that? I mean... They don't, they're, they're, they're not going to be like, thanks, here's money. Too, That's not we how We are too works. damn I mean, we know, but debt. we use them for resources, though, right? Like what? Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm, I don't know what's in Syria, but, like, just like in... Uh, like, we're, if we're allies. I mean, I see what you're saying, but, if like... We're allies. I mean, obviously, if we're in a war, they would help us out in a war because we help but, them but out. But it's, it's hard for us to, like, go into another country and take their resources and then bring it back here. I'm and not saying taking it, but I'm just saying, like... Like, I'm just saying one of the aspects, like, they can back us up in, like, in war. You know, I would feel super comfortable if Syria was back. Any us. troops, you want as many people to be on your side. If you're going to get in a fight, you want as much people as we, you can. We are... Oh. We have a lot of people. No, on we our have side. a lot of people, but the more is better. Why would you want to even risk ever the thought of losing if you just because you didn't have enough people? Oh, we don't need Syria. Like, why would you want more people to be on your side? We don't need Syria. Well, I'm just saying, any more. I'm just saying, more people. We don't need. Us. We don't really need anyone. We could I literally. Mean, we could literally. So. We couldn't blow we, Syria to. We we kingdom come with nuclear weapons and all we wanted, and after about that's a year, so wrong no, though. We, Dude, we, we, should, get, we, should, we get the people out of there that are good and nuclear, we just leave all the other How are you going to know who the people are good and who are the people are bad? Nuclear, so you're, you look like a terrorist. You stay here. Nuclear, you look like a family. Nuclear man. weapons are the worst invention ever yeah, created. I agree there. Except when they want to But I think it's also a good too. thing, honestly. Just think about it. Because no, nobody's going to use them. Besides, like, besides, exactly, besides exactly. ending World War II, they have no purpose. But think about it now. Without without nukes... And then aliens come and we have nothing powerful enough to destroy Other than nukes, though, it's just like... War haven't hasn't we haven't gotten in a single world war. Think about think about what if your family was in like Hiroshima, okay, but I'm saying Nagas, because of Nagas, nukes, Nagas, no one has because of nukes, no other world war has started. Every like single person in that town because would have been willing one to give per, their lives. One to country America. drops one nuke, next world war three. One country. Yeah, no, no, I think we're all we're all no. I think that we're all past that. Like somebody could nuke us, and we would know like how to like. Dude. I think that we're all past that. Like we could, they could nuke us, and we would know like tactical fighter strikes, things like that, cruise missiles. We have so many different. <laughs> no, we have so many different conventional weapons. <laughs> we have so, no guys. You're ignoring the point. We have so many different conventional weapons. And then we have all across the course of California. Dude, we we have, have the Patriot missile systems installed. We, we have, have all of those deterrents. We have radar jammers. We have jets that can be scrambled within two and a half minutes. We have nu- all on the coast. We have nukes. In every ocean, and every body of water. Exactly. We have in all the those world. trident, we have, trident missiles. We have, we have nukes the, uh, everywhere. Virginia class submarines. I'm and just saying. I think I, I see what you're saying. Nukes kind of do keep keep us in check because we all know that if any war happened, it'd be a nuclear war. Think about this. Big rap for everybody. How many bases does it? How many military bases? Why? How many? <laughs> okay. How many? How many military bases does America have in other countries? I don't know. Tons, right? Yeah. Tons. More than I can count. How many countries have military bases in America? Probably one. None. Area 51, pretty sure. It's gotta be like a Japanese corner or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk no, about but like legit ones. Like, think about that. Just let that sink okay, in. Let's just. Okay. What are you gonna say, Xavier? That's because we like to interfere. I was yeah. gonna make a joke, but it was. Nah. I mean, I just know. I just think, in my opinion, I just think because of nukes, everybody's kept in check. And we, there's no need to fight because it's, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's war going on, obviously. But Simon's it's, a pacifist. By I'm the not way. even a pacifist. It's just like, I just think there's no need to start anything unless you're literally forced to by hand. Like, World I War lo- II, we were basically forced to go into that. Like, we, I mean. We weren't forced. We weren't forced, but we were like. Basically, we had to. We kind of had to. There were subs two miles off the coast and plus of they, And then, the, I mean, the the Axis, whatever, the fucking bad guys. Axis powers. Yeah. Axis powers was saying Mexico join in. So, like, you know, we had to do something before Mexico jumped in. They never, they weren't able to. They know. weren't. The, Zim- like, the Zimmerman just in case, not was interfecting. Just, just in yeah, case. Yeah, I remember that. The Zimmerman. Yeah. yeah. Yes. History, 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 history time. time. Yep. I wouldn't touch him. He lost no in November. Sure. <laughs> He's uncleansed. <laughs> what, what voice was that? I don't know what. What voice was that? I'm not cutting that out. This is... Every, I, I might just change the volume. This is going to be... A, <laughs> dude, he just yells so the whole time. 
I know. It's going to be funny listening to this. Because then everybody will be talking to me like, oh, yeah, 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 guys, guys, guys. <laughs> you're you're going you're gonna to have to, like, put my audio up while you, like, lower his. Like, a, That's going to be. Down. I don't even think. I'm, I'm so sorry. That. Mine's fine. <laughs> Mine's low. Okay, so basically, I'm monkey. Okay, so um, basically, I, racial story. <laughs> he doesn't know what it is. He's because I said okay. Basically, I'm monkey. Okay, so he's not a normie. You know uh, that, right? Okay, so basically, I'm monkey. You know about that? He's not a normie. He follows X. Dude, tell yourself. Here. You follow I Lawhan. No, he, no, he doesn't have an Instagram. I don't have Instagram. I don't, I don't even know yet. why. What's up with that? Dude, you have... You, Yo, I'm telling you right now. Bro, I'm like... On if a, a whole, girl doesn't have an I'm Instagram or Snapchat... R slash surreal memes. You if you want on real you. memes. <laughs> no, that's not what I was going to say. R slash surreal memes. You ever read it? Yeah. If a, read girl, it, bro? if a girl... No. If a girl doesn't have an Instagram or Snapchat, stop talking to her right now. There's something wrong with her. I'm guaranteeing you right now. Why are you guys on your phones? We're on a podcast. So it's for Noah. It's for Noah. I was going to show him some memes. We're making no. a podcast. Xavier, right we're on a podcast. Oh, man. Come on, focus. Focus. You guys Hello. <laughs> Why did you invite him? <laughs> Bro, I'm about to pass out. I'm so. Okay, I'm too much for this. One more topic, and then we actually not. Nah, we're out, we're at an hour right now. Dang. We like we. Man, it's about an hour. Matthew's <laughs> like it's been a couple. Podcast is I'm sorry. all over. Oh. We're ending for Matthew, the wanna night. Say wanna say anything? Say goodbye. Say, come on, just say something, bro. Come here, say goodbye. No, don't say goodbye. We're still talking. Oh, right. what? what are we talking okay, about? I guess we're done. We're done? Oh, we're Damn, done? That's tough. I mean, what do you want to talk about? We can talk we about have anything. plans to make, places to be. We got three out. Oh, we got I was about to vote for Libertarians Hard, but we just talked about foreign affairs the entire time. <laughs> we're not in this way, everybody taking it. No, we're not. No. No, I don't. Matt, Ben, you should sit here, be pretty right now. You can leave, honestly. Matthew's gonna do you want me to swap? Do you want me to swap with Ben? Yeah, just swap with Ben because you're, yeah, you bro, you're like really thick. So, I am, I have Ben, Ben, baby. Ben. <laughs> ben, put this in your left ear and just make sure everybody can be heard. Okay, make sure you can hear everybody. Okay, okay. Sure you guys. Yo, we should name this one yeah, long, 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 longest long podcast long. yet. No, longest one was like an hour and 30. Okay, so now you guys have, okay, now we're gonna, uh. Um, now we got Matthew in here. We so switched out Ben. Ben is literally, literally just, I don't know what's wrong with Ben. But well, you said you wanted to talk about libertarians, right? I mean, a little bit. I mean, like. So explain, so explain to Liber- explain to people that don't know what libertarian is, aka people like me that don't know. Hey, I mean, so, no libertarians. Libertarianism. Well, like when you're talking about just libertarianism itself, it's just like the belief that like less government is better for you know. Um, so that's understandable. It just helps you, uh, like overall. But like the, uh, like you know, like conservatives are supposed to be like less government, but like they're all the same. Like when it comes down to it, Democrats and Republicans, they all want more government, and they they don't have the same interests as people do. Mm-hmm. It just yeah. that's just how it happens. Like lobbying, it, yeah, it just it doesn't happen like that. And so liber- libertarians are kind of like in the middle. Like if, uh, they're probably more like considered like more like physically conservative like as far as like how the economy should go just no government interference not a lot of regulation just everybody kind of doing their own thing um what's up my bad um and then uh from like a social point of view instead of like collectivism like how the you know like libtards (laughs) <laughs> um Democrats. it's 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 very individual like very it's really focused on individualism everybody can be anybody can be whatever they want it doesn't matter you can be gay you can be a transgender you can be whatever whatever and we don't care because it doesn't affect you so why should you care okay matthew do you think this government would work um to be honest with you no because um i agree with like the little like as little government interference as possible right yeah because i'm i'm pretty sure i'm liberal i don't even fucking know to be honest <laughs> my parents both are so i think yeah. so but that's like, not that's not a very popular liberal view though to, to have, to like so like i understand like have yeah limited government yeah, like, like big government yeah like limited government yeah i understand like that but like some regulations you need like uh, you need regulations in order to like keep the black market at bay 
No, but here's the thing, though. If, like, if, if, if you just, like, made it so, like, drugs and shit were legal, there'd be no such thing as a black market. Okay, yeah, but, but that's like, the you thing. You don't want meth yeah. on the fucking... Next thing you know, you're, well, like... In a, in well, a, I, not gonna be hold on. They can't hear you. Hold on. You want a, you want a, I, you want a mic? Honestly? Yeah. Honestly, okay. No. So here's one of. Just leave it. It's already almost. So here's a here's a pretty outlandish. Belie- people consider this kind of outlandish, but I believe in natural selection. I believe if you're gonna do drugs and die, you should do drugs and die. Okay, but like, if like, you have like an eight not- year old kid figuring out what eBay is, and like, oh cool, crystal meth. Like next thing you know, he's gonna be fucking <laughs> no, 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 snorting. No, not like shit. that, cause that's kind of unrealistic. But I, I, like, it's like you don't want your older brother who's a, a meth head, and then giving it to your, his little brother, and he tries heroin, right? And right. he just fucking dies. Yeah. No, I mean. Like, like obviously we're gonna discourage that. That's gonna be discouraged, especially if you're gonna like if you're a kid. That's just it's just discouraged in general, anyways. Like, but I'm just saying, like, why, like, why are we? Tr- why do we try so hard for people that are just never gonna get it down? Never just gonna like live out their days as just a drug addict and might even die by the time they're thirty from an overdose. People can change. People can influence other people. You know how many? No, I'm not saying that you shouldn't. I'm just saying like. Stupid people are gonna do stupid shit, and sometimes you can't fix it. Okay, but you need government regulations though, so that there's no more stupid people doing stupid shit. But you can't you realize the regulations yeah, would, are like limiting would, how, yeah, the amount of people. Wait, so what do you, uh, dude? Regulations and laws don't don't fix anything. You know the you know what the drug war is how we've like, dude, that doesn't work. Everybody's everybody and their mother still smokes weed. Really? Yeah. Dude, your mother smokes weed better now. Everybody and their mother. Your mother, okay, no, it's the same. He, okay, yeah. I mean, I a lot of people smoke. But, like, okay, other than marijuana, we don't, like, why would you want cocaine back as a drug? Why would you want heroin, the worst drug ever, to be coming back? Like, what? I don't understand the logic that goes behind your head. I, you you know, I think you'd be surprised with, like, how many people actually do, like, marijuana and, co- I mean, not mar- uh, heroin and cocaine and shit. Like, it's, it's not as much as you think. I know, but I'm, it's not as much as you think. But, like, that's because of government regulation, though. Like, you don't think that has nothing to... So you're saying if, if, if a common person, right... No, because you can get anything you want. If a common person went into a... a um, what's that thing called? Like, the ones that admire. Those the, where they just give you pills or whatever. Clinics. Pharmacy, if you just pharmacy. walk... If you go to a yeah, pharmacy or clinics, and you say, hey, can you give me three kilos of cocaine? And, and like... Oh, and then, you know, if they don't... Like, you know? Like, you tell me, like, there's... If we let all those hardcore drugs back into society, there's going to be more problems. More people are going to die. and more. It's not even about natural selection at this point. It's just going to be like, who's lucky and who's not? It's not about who's lucky because I'm not going to do cocaine and do heroin. You're not going to do Why? Because there's regulations. No, because no. I don't want to. No, you're not going to okay. do it. But we're talking about, like, let's say, like, because if drugs are going to be legal, then they're, not, they're going to obviously warn you about them. But people, like, dude, the D.A.R.E. doesn't do anything because kids, obviously, they're still, really they, they still make you do drugs, right? So they're going to give you warnings, but no one's obviously going to, it's not going to affect anyone. Else. Dude, if anybody. Let me finish my the, point. Let me finish but my if, point. Okay, I'm just saying if anybody really wants to do something, they're going to do it. It doesn't exactly, matter. Exactly, but we should stop that before it happens. Because obviously, right. everybody knows about how bad drugs are now, like the ones that are legal, right? But I'm talking about, like, the next generation, the, the, our great-grandkids, right? And obviously, if everything was legal at that point... And, and and everybody's like, hey, don't do this drug. This can kill you. No one's going to listen to them because no one's going to be like, oh, whatever. I, I never tried it. How am I supposed to know? But I'm not saying that, like, you have to make all drugs accessible or legal. There's still, like, it's, I'm just saying. You should that, say we should have natural selection. Because- no, but if you do, like, if you do what you do on your own, like, private property and do what you do in your home and you're going to be a, a I'm not saying you have to, like, force everybody around you. There's still going to be laws. If, you, if you're out doing drugs in public, no. Like, it, but if it's you do something, if legal. you if you're fucking yourself and by yourself and you're doing your own thing, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not. It's nobody else's problem. I disagree with that. I think yes. if I don't, if you're even if you're by yourself, no one's looking at you, and some a neighbor sees you putting a needle up your arm. I think it, she has every single right to call the police. I. I'd help my neighbor if I knew they had some sort of drug problem, but that's just off the kindness of my heart. I'm not gonna call the. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Or if a police take. Rambling. There's. I'm not saying we get rid of all rehab clinics and shit. And it's not. It's not like anything changes. It's just like we're just not like wasting time putting away people for hurting themselves. What are we gaining by that? Why are we putting people in jail after they're hurting themselves? Because jail is like a big timeout. It makes you reflect. 
makes you think about like literally puts everything away from you just so you can think about everything that's the that's the basic level concept in prison it's just a a big timeout like it's just like 50 years timeout (laughs) all right private prisons private prisons yeah well i mean prisons already make enough money so how Ew. It's not funny, bro. Show that. Ben, stop. Stop, man. We're stop. doing a fucking podcast. Jesus Christ. No. No, don't show the camera. I have to blur that out. I don't even know how to blur out stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I just don't think libertarians will. I just don't. I, I think. I mean, and not. What's wrong with that government? Not though? not all libertarians. Answer that question right now. Too big. Too big. Too big. And it, too and does involved it, or too big? Too big. And too involved. It doesn't represent us. I, the, so the, there's no democracy in our government? There's no democracy. You don't think there's any? See, there's there is democracy, but it's the nah, it's, it's the illusion of democracy. Trump we think it. Donald we, Trump made we the think, government mostly Republican. We we think I don't know about that. We made the okay. We think that we're voting. <laughs> we think that we're voting for people that are representing us, but we're just voting for names. We're just voting for a red or blue. We're not voting for like you what mean, we believe in. Mean, explain that to me. The only way you can vote for what you believe in is if you vote for what you believe in and not somebody who's gonna vote for what you believe in there's no such thing the best way to get represented is represent yourself directly direct democracy yeah but the problem with that is that people i don't even want to say people america is a very very dumb nation i don't know if you noticed that but the people can't represent yeah i know i know i know what you're saying i mean we had an election where these nuts was in third place had 70 percent voting. voting I mean, oh, that guy's gonna represent America now. These nuts. Those are, that's 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 the natural anymore. selection coming in. Those are the people that can just die. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what guys. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's just people are. America is not like okay. Obviously, when you say, oh, um, we're 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 more we're the most well informed we've ever no, been. Yeah, in the country. yeah, no, we everybody. Everybody has access to a cell phone or a computer, or you know, at least for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Though. Yeah, no, I think there's, um, there's benefits and there's and there's and, and there's obviously some downfalls. But there. if we voted on things at a local level, like it, there's enough people that are just smart and in the, or in the middle or just not smart at all making decisions at a at a nice local level. And so, sometimes, but like, and you can just go somewhere else. If, if we all rep- if every single person represented each person, right? It's just. Sometimes, no, but some, we, but no decisions we made at that big of a level where one decision affect, affects the entire country. Like, what's a small decision that everybody would decide? A small decision? Yeah. Whether you want marijuana legal in your state or not. Whether you want, like, um, it, it's just like issues that are already issues right now, but you just decide on a local level instead of after a I, whole see, level. The thing I have a problem as with a country. <laughs> uh, after, okay, we'll end it after this, right? The problem with. Well, I have. I'll say this, and I'll be done. Right. The problem I have with it, what you're saying, is that like. Here, I'll give you an analogy. Right. You have a family, right? Mm-hmm. Two parents, three kids. Obviously, the kids are the majority in the family. Mm-hmm. And the kids, the parents say, your curfew is at eleven. Mm-hmm. And the kids are like, I. The kids are like, I can't. I. We don't want to go home at eleven. Yeah. I, 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 you, yeah. Know, you know. I know. I know this argument. Yeah. Sometimes people don't know what's best for them. Until it actually happens, right? So you think that uh, some like forty-year-old like white dude knows what's best for you, Diamond? I'm not saying he knows what's best for me, but like I'm saying like like I didn't uh, I'm being like okay, that's one person out of Congress, right? But I'm just saying like those people as but cheesy as I, I just want to... they just sometimes they're doing what's best for America. That's why I kind of like our government now. Let me, let me finish this. Like they don't think about. Oh, how's this gonna affect me? How's it? they're thinking of America? No, they're not. They are thinking of how it's gonna affect them. Okay, well I'm done. I just I can't be talking for. Oh my god. Let's spice it up. Um, how big is your penis? In girth or length? <laughs> Bro, it looks like a tuna can. What? Chode. You have a chode. You have a chode. All right. It's it's four feet. Okay, Matthew. Seven feet. <laughs> Nigga lying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man has to say something. Bro, he, this is his. This is literally his dick. These are his balls, and that's the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm um, gonna be honest. I have measured my penis at max length after I busted it. Right, it was exactly seven and a half inches. Okay, guys. This, welcome. To, thank you. For well, yeah, not exactly, but it was around that. Thank you for tuning into this week. Take three. 
Thank you for tuning Hit in to this week's yeah, episode. I bet you never kid. Thank you for tuning in for this week's episode for Loser Island. Thanks, guys. We all love hey, you. Can I? Oh, sorry. Thanks for having me on, Simon. Yeah, thank you for coming on, Xavier. I'm finally well, back. Well, it's not really official. Not really. Yeah, it's not like, the. You're supposed to be here last week. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to yeah. talk about Wait, that. Wait, where were you? Okay, it doesn't even matter. Simon so, said he couldn't go. Okay, whatever. Simon's the cutest person in this room who doesn't pull. Uh, thank you, guys. Pause. I'll see you next Simon time.